Hello folks, we're back once again, back on the Nintendo Switch, and we're going to do another special gameplay here. Now, if you remember yesterday, we had a special gameplay of Wheel of Fortune on the Nintendo Switch, because of the, uh, the celebrity series that debuted last night. Well, today, we're going to do a special gameplay of Jeopardy on the Switch, and the reason for this is because after over 36 Fish. years and hosting over 8,300 shows, the episode of Jeopardy that will be airing tonight will be the last time that Alex Trebek will ever be on TV. So, in honor of that, I will be playing a game of Jeopardy on the Switch. So, well, let's get going, Introducing shall we? our contestants. <sighs> let's play Jeopardy! Literary right, the first locales. Word R. Religion. Literary locales. Religion. Songs on TV Songs shows. Songs on TV shows. Oh. After Alaska. After our last game shows, game shows. Oh, how fitting! Holidays and observances. Holidays and observances. Of course, there's just the one daily double in this first round. Player three. And Please Michael, our AI is going first, and right daily off double. the bat, it's the daily double. How much do you want to wager? In the George Orwell novel, the states of Oceania, Eurasia, and East Asia are at war. What is animal farm? That is not that correct. That is not right. So he loses 200 on that. 1984 was the novel. Alright, now he's going to try literary locales for 200. A barbecue takes place at 12 Oaks, the Wilkes family plantation, in chapter 6 of this novel. What is gone with the wind? Well done. All right, literary locales Player for 400, one. please. Which category would you like? This J.D. Salinger hero reminisces about field trips to the American Museum of Natural History. <coughs> Who is Holden Caulfield? Indeed. Yep. So I remember reading Catcher in the Rye in High School. That was a good book. Yeah. Literary locales, 800. There are multiple mentions of Ikea wardrobes in the bestseller A Man Called Ove, set in this country. Sarah's going to try it. Precisely. Thanks, sweet. Player two, pick a category. Real locales a thousand. The Handmaid's Tale is set in this fictional republic that shares its name with a biblical area known for its ball. Michael. Did you know? No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Alright, it's 50-50. What is Tarshish? That's not no, correct. No, it was Gilish. A Gilead. That's Pardon correct. Me. Yeah, Gilead. Game shows for 400. The show that began as the $10,000 Pyramid with Dick Clark came back in 2016 with Michael Strahan and this Richard Tite. What is the $100,000 Pyramid? You are right. Alright. Game shows one. 200. Please select a category. It's the show on which host Wayne Brady might offer you $1,000 in cash or a curtain. What is Let's Make a Deal? Exactly. Game shows for 600. He went from late, late to early, early, winning daytime Emmys for celebrity name game. Who is Craig Ferguson? That's it. Alright, game shows 800. 
on this cable channel, contestants reach out and touch an answer on idiot test. <laughs> what is Game Show Network? Yes, correct. Which has become straight up trash in recent years from what I've heard from a lot of folks. Game Show's a thousand. Uh, the network, that is. LeBron James is an executive producer on this series where a green ball could be worth as much as one million dollars. What is the wall? You are correct. All right, let's do Holly's Observance's 200. Look at the following image. The activity seen here is celebrated the last Friday in April on this U.S. holiday. Uh, what is Arbor Day? Indeed. Holly's Observance is for 400. Observe the following image. The family seen here is celebrating this holiday whose name is derived from a word meaning first. <coughs> What is Kwanzaa? Well done! 600. Same category. Look at the following the image. The items seen here are celebrated during a May 1st holiday in this U.S. state. <coughs> what is Hawaii? That's right. Yep. 800, same category. Observe the following image. The sporting event seen here is held on this Massachusetts holiday. <coughs> what is Patriots Day? That's correct. And let's finish off the category, please. Look at the following the musical image. musical instrument seen here is blown to end the, end the services of this Jewish Day of Atonement. <laughs> Hanukkah? Wrong. No, it's not Hanukkah. Uh, what is, what is Passover? Sadly, no. that's not it. Yom Kippur. 0 for 2 in this game now when left with a 50-50 choice. You are correct. Yeah, Yom Kippur was it. Michael's Player still in the three. hole, though. Which category would you like? Songs on TV shows for four. Stevie Wonder sang Superstition and Signed, Sealed, Delivered on Yours on this late night talk show host's Carpool Karaoke. Uh, who is Stephen Colbert? No, no. sorry. Going the wrong way here. Gotta be careful. <coughs> That's it. It was James Corden. Player two, pick a category. After Alaska for 400. After Alaska, it's the next largest U.S. state by area. <coughs> what is Texas? Yes. There we go. All right, uh, songs on Please TV shows 200. Category. This character sings, Smelly Cat, Smelly Cat, what are they feeding you? <laughs> Who is Phoebe? Correct. Songs on TV shows for 600. This Fox drama featured Shakedown, a 2015 duet between Terrence Howard and guest star Mary J. Blige. <laughs> Sarah. What is it? Delana. Sadly, no. that's not it. What is Empire? You are correct. There we go. Finally got one right on a 50-50 chance. Songs on TV shows for eight. Cheese Sandwich, voiced by Weird Al Yankovic, sang the Goof Off song on this animated show that's subtitled Friendship is Magic. What is My Little Pony? That's right. Yes. Songs on TV shows for a thousand. Robert Moore saying the best things in life are free after his character died on this show. Well done. 
Packers. Mad Men was the show. Player two. Sarah's got 1,600. It's your turn to choose a category. After Alaska, 1,000. Alaska is home to the 16 tallest mountains in the U.S. This state has number 17. Sarah. No, it's not. Not Colorado. Michael. California. You are right. Yeah, California is it. Plan All right, three. Michael's out of the hole. Which category would you like? Alaska has the longest coastline of any U.S. state. This state comes in second. What is Florida? Precisely. Player After one, Alaska, pick a 200. category. Alphabetically, it's the next state after Alaska. Uh, what is Arkansas? Oh no, what is Arizona? That's right. Uh, good thing I changed my answer right at the last second too. After Alaska, eight hundred. Of U.S. states on the Pacific, it's second to Alaska in pounds of fish caught commercially each year, some of which is sold at Pipe Place Market. What is Washington? You are correct. Only one category remains now. Religion 200. Considered to be the words of God himself, the Quran is the holy book of this religion. Uh, what... Is Islam. Well done. Religion for 400. About 80% of India's people practice this religion. What is Hinduism? That's it. 600, same category. Latter-day Saints is the more correct name for members of this church. Uh, what is the Mormon Church? You are correct. Yes. Religion 800. For more than 400 years, the chief monk of Tibetan Buddhism has gone by this name. Or by this title, rather. What is the Dalai Lama? Correct. And now the last clue on the board for $1,000. While there are three orders of Franciscan, Franciscans, all follow the ideals of the founder, St. Francis of this city. What is Assisi? You are right. And at the end of the Jeopardy round, I've got a nice big lead at $9,800. Michael, $800, and Sarah, $600. So Sarah's going to pick first in double Jeopardy. Let's take a look at the Double Jeopardy rounds categories. Ancient history. Ancient history. American lit. American lit. Before they were pop stars. Before they were pop stars. Fashion designers. Fashion designers. Art and artists. Art and artists, and finally, touring New York City. Touring New York City. All right, where's she gonna go first? Before they were pop stars for 2000 Okay. This DJ worked in supermarkets and did a stint in a fish factory before collaborating with Rihanna on We Found Love. Michael. Who is Calvin Harris. Yes. And that is right. Player three, which category would you like? Ancient History, 800. Queen... Shepson of Egypt's 18th dynasty dressed as a man so that she could remain this type of king. What is a pharaoh? Well done. Player right, one. Let's do Pick a category. touring New York City for 400. Observe the following image. The building in the center of the photo seen here was featured in the climax of this 1933 monster movie. Uh, what is King Kong? Precisely. Yeah, I figured it was either that or Godzilla, and I chose the right one. 
Thank goodness. She's in New York City. Look at the following image. Though it's partly Manhattan, the bridge seen here is named for this borough. <laughs> what is Brooklyn? That's correct. Yep. Brooklyn Bridge. She were in New York for 12. Observe the following image. Opened in 2014, the tallest building seen here is this many feet tall. Sarah. I'm sorry, no. 1,999, no, that is incorrect. Uh, what is 1,776? Yes, yes. correct. in New York for 16. Look at the following Since image. 1932, the venue seen here has been home to this dance company. <laughs> Who are, what are the Rockettes? Exactly. Yep. Finish the category, please. Observe the following image. The interior of the statue seen here is cast iron and stainless steel, while the exterior is this element. What is copper? Indeed. Ran that category. Alright, let's do American Lit for four. A poem by Longfellow, Hiawatha's marriage to her is no laughing matter. <laughs> Who is Sacagawea? Incorrect. No. Exactly. Minnehaha. Okay. Player three, please select a category. Ancient history 400. A player in third place knows this period of ancient history ended with the onset of the Iron Age. What is the Bronze Age? That's correct. Yep. Got that 400 right back. Player one. Let's do American category. Eight. In this 1959 William Gibson drama, Helen Keller realizes that things have names. What is the miracle worker? That's right. American Lit for 1200. I think there's a movie based off of that too. Santiago struggles to reel in a Marlin in this Hemingway work. Sarah. I'm sorry, no. Not the sun also rises. What is the old man and the sea? Indeed. Yep. American Lit for 1600. His books include Roughing It and Life on the Mississippi. Sarah. Who is Mark Twain? You are correct. Yes. Player two. It's your turn to choose a category. Before there were pop stars for 400. He borrowed $2,500 from his babysitter to record demos under a different name, not wanting to trade on Father Julio's fame. <laughs> Who is Enrique Iglesias? Exactly. All right, let's finish American Lit. Please. Player one, pick a category. This 1965 landmark work of science fiction is set on the planet Arrakis. Arrakis. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce it. Stranger in a Strange Wrong. Land? No, that is not correct. What is a scanner darkly? No, it's no. not. It was Doom. You are correct. Player three, it's your turn to choose a category. Ancient history for 1200. In 1700 BC, the palace of Knossos on this Minoan island was destroyed by an earthquake. Sarah. What is Crete? That's right. Yep. 
player two. Which category would Winner you like? Pop Stars for 12. This call me maybe singer spent her younger years in British Columbia. <coughs> Who's Carly Rae Jepsen? Indeed. Player For one, pop stars please select three. a category. Born in 1985, this Just The Way You Are singer performed at the age of four as an Elvis impersonator. <laughs> Who is... Bruno Mars? Well done! For their pop stars for 1600, known for hiding her face in public, this chandelier singer attended Adelaide High School in Australia. Sarah. Who is SIA? Precisely. Yep. Yeah. Sarah's out of the hole. Player two, which category Fashion would designers you like? for 2000. Giorgio Armani put on fashion shows as Palazzo on Via. Borno Novo in this northern Italian city. Uh, what is Venice? That is not no. correct. Another chance to crack the $20,000 mark? Could not do it. Michael. Correct. Milan was the city. It was Milan. Player three, please select a category. It's 1600 it's and a there's a daily double. double. One of two in this How round. How much would you like to wager? The son of Sudhodana, a wealthy ruler, he was born in what's now Nepal around 563 BC. Michael says, "What is who is no, Zoroaster?" That is not correct. Wager was 1850. Buddha was the correct response there. We stand 5350 as we finish ancient history. This Babylonian king's code states that if a son strikes his father, the son's hands shall be cut off. Sarah. Hammurabi? That's it. Yes. Alright, Sarah's at 2600. Player two. Which category would Fashion you like? designers for 12. Ferragamo introduced these floor scarring shoes whose name comes from the Italian for dagger. Um, what are stilettos? That's correct. Yep. Alright, fashion one. designers 400. Pick a category. In 2017, Coach Downstone would acquire the company of this handbag design in Kate for $2.4 billion. Who is Kate Spade? Precisely. Eight hundred fashion designers. It's the first name of designer Jacobs, who stepped down as Louis Vuitton's creative director in 2013 to focus on his own line. <coughs> who is? Um, what is Mark? Exactly. Yes. All right. Let's finish fashion designers. In 1995, this clothier known for his red, white, and blue sportswear was named Men's Wear Designer of the Year. Who's Ralph Lauren? Wrong. And I'm over for free now with trying to get above 20,000. Tommy Hilfiger, that was what we needed. Player two. Which Art category artist would you like? For 2000. No daily double there. A reddish brown color is named for this Phoenician artist who used the color frequently in his paintings. Sarah. That's not it. Not Canaletto. Ah. Okay, who is Raphael? No, that's incorrect. Uh, I've lost 4,000. Uh, lost a fair bit of money here on the last couple of clues. Well done. Uh, I gotta be careful. Player now 3, the, it's your turn yeah, to choose a category. My computer's trying to catch up to me. Art Artist 800. Stolen in 2002, works by this self-portrait with bandaged ear artist were later rediscovered 
and went on display in Amsterdam in 2017. <coughs> Who is Rembrandt? That is not correct. Oh my goodness, no. Down to 15,000. We're getting to the end of the round here and I'm struggling. Yes, Vincent correct. Van Gogh. Four hundred. Look at the following. Part image. of the sling can be seen here in a biblical sculpture by this Renaissance artist. Please let this be Michelangelo. Indeed. Yes. All right. Now, which one of these last two has the daily double? Which is it 1200? would you like? It is not. Jonathan Batal is the young man in this colorful work by Thomas Gainsborough. Michael. The red balloon? No, it's not. No. What is the green knight? Sorry, but no, that's, that's not it either. The blue boy. Yes. And the last belongs to Sarah because it is the, the second daily double. Daily double. How much money are you wagering? While living in Parma, Italy, this American Impressionist began painting babies. Later, her trademark. Georgia O'Keeke. I'm sorry. No. no. Alright, she risked 300 only. Mary Cassatt. And I think I knew that one. Everyone made it to Final yeah. Jeopardy. So at the end of Double Jeopardy, I have 14,200, just barely a runaway. Sarah 31, Michael at 69.50. How much do you want to wager? And the category for this one is geography. Um. Uh, okay, if I do my math correctly. Let's see, 13,009. Uh. Oh, okay, yeah. The only place where four countries meet at one point is found on this continent. Uh, what is Africa? Well done! Yes! Sarah goes up to 6,200. Michael also said that. That's right. And he did wager everything. Yeah, I almost did my math wrong. That would have been bad. Indeed. All right, fourteen thousand four ninety-nine is what Here I end up with in this placements. game. Yeah, I struggled a bit near the end of the double jeopardy round, which ended up resulting in me not winning, Our winning a little less money than I is. probably could have had. But that's okay, though. Oh, roughly fourteen and a half thousand. Still a pretty good payday, if I do say so myself. All right. So that's it for the special gameplay of Jeopardy for the Nintendo Switch. Hopefully, you've all enjoyed it, and uh, we will see you again soon.